Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So I thought I'd provide you an update on what's going on with the max feeding rod coilover situation. So there's been a lot of emails going back and forth between myself and the performance shop I bought them from and them with max feeding rods. Uh, so they, the performance shop has asked me to run a few tests or a test on the coilovers. Uh, basically a reload test to see if, the, if or how fast the coilovers actually spring back. So I'll just show you guys that right now. Alright guys, so one of the things that I was asked by the performance shop was to inspect to see if these coilovers or the ones that are blown are um, rebounding. So essentially what you do is you just compress the stock, I mean the shock, you compress the shock um, and you you want to see if it, 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 I guess if it rebounds essentially, if it comes back up. So essentially this is the sh one of the shocks that had all the like the most oil on the bag. So as you can see, this right here is the shock. So when you push it all the way down, so easy you can push it with your hand. It doesn't rebound. So this one is for sure blown. And this is one of the rears, as you can see. This is the one that was furthest to the left side uh, in, the, in the previous video. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these pictures and I'm gonna send it to the performance shop and see what he says. All right, so as I'm inspecting these coilovers, it looks like two of, two of them are already blown. Um, it's kind of what I've already suspected. If, like so essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking the bottom end off, giving it enough room so that I can compress the piston. And as you can see, with this just one, you can push it down with your hand and it does not come back up. No matter how much, um, with all shocks, the piston is always supposed to come back up. This one is not coming back up at all. It's, it's not even slowly coming back up. It's just not coming back up. Um, so I'm t I've taken all these out in, in the order that, that showed the leak. So this one as well. So you. You see how easy that is to push down? So it essentially is just completely just compressed and does not rebound at all. So for gla first glance, this is not looking good for these coilovers. So what I'm going to probably do is end up um, inspecting all of them, uh, all four, just to just to see if they're actually any good. So what you would have to do is just undo the preload on these um, and and kind of wind all the perches all the way down and compress it to see if it, how long it takes to kind of rebound essentially. It's supposed to rebound right away. All Any good normal shock is supposed to rebound right away. Uh, even a blown shock is supposed to rebound slowly because there's still gas and fluids inside the shock. Um, it won't rebound at all when it's completely blown like this, these two here. They're completely blown and they're not really rebounding at all. Like this one is rebounding, as you can see. So that's what it's supposed to do. These two are not doing that. So, and as, from what I can see, this one also has some sort of leaks as well. So I'm not confident that this one is any good either. Because, I mean, yes, the shock is dampening on this one, but this one is the one that actually punctured through the box, right? Um, I'm surprised this one actually works better than the other two, but we know this one rebounds. And then we're gonna work on the last and final shock right now. So this one is the only one that is known to look good in the packaging and all that. So I'm hoping that this one rebounds a lot faster than the, the one that actually is rebounding. And I'm also hoping that that this one is actually, I'm hoping that this one actually rebounds for one. Yeah, this one still, this one rebounds. This one's very slow. So 
So compared to the other ones, this one is actually rebounding. So these three are clearly bad because you can see that these two, as you notice, they're, they're, they're not even rebounding. They haven't moved at all. They're staying compressed. This one it goes partial way and then it stops. So as you can see, it stops. If you compare that, it definitely is not fully rebounding. So, basically, three out of the four, exactly what I suspected, are no good. Three out of the four are blown. So as you can see guys, three out of the four are basically no good. I'm not even sure if the fourth one's any good because it did have some problems re re rebounding. So I've let the performance jump know, they've let Max Being Ross know, and Max Being Ross has come back with a solution. They will replace three of the coilovers, like the internal strut piece, not the full coilovers, just the internal part, and it will cost us for shipping. So they say we have to cover the shipping costs. But that makes no sense to me because they sent us something broken and now they're saying, okay, we're going to charge you to get something that's good. Um, the shipping cost is something ridiculous. It's like $100 US or something like that. I took a look at their website. Their website has these exact same set for sale, 250 US shipped, free shipping. And this is all within the US. Keep in mind, I'm in Canada. So we still have to make a trip to the US to kind of pick these up. Um, so I told the performance shop I'm not paying anything extra. Um, and they are, they've been negotiating back and forth with max speeding rods on this. So we've gotten it down to $10 and the shop has said they will cover that. So that's basically the latest update, but still it doesn't make any sense to me why max speeding rods is being so difficult. I believe their customer service isn't very good. And also keep in mind that if you were to ship these back to them, you won't be shipping it to the States. You actually have to ship it back to China. Because if you look at the packaging, or if you've actually purchased from Max Feeding Rods, I think they don't have any warehouses in the US. Everything is basically in China. I believe it's all drop shipping. So I looked on the, I guess the shipping documents on these coilovers, and they basically came directly from China, and then some inter intermediary in the US, and then to the final destination address, which means they don't have anything in uh, the US, and it'll cost an arm and a leg to get this back to China. So they make it overly difficult. So that new two year warranty is kind of BS because you really have to negotiate to kind of get replacement parts or whatever it is, even though it's hundred percent their fault. Um, like and they, a perfect example of how stupid this is, is that imagine buying something from Home Depot for like 30 bucks, like a tool or something. Say you open it and it's broken. You go back to Home Depot and say, I need to exchange this or return this. Home Depot goes, oh, it's going to cost you 30 bucks to you know, uh, exchange that. It doesn't make any sense. What's the point of having warranty or exchange then, right? So that's basically what Max Feeding Rods is kind of doing. And that's my update so far. It's not been pleasant. I've been dealing with the performance shop on this. And I think Max Feeding Rods is kind of very poor customer service right now. Um, it's way different from all the other reviews that I've watched on YouTube. So, I mean, the, those are all the product reviews is not really dealing with Max Speeding Rods. They've actually gotten okay product, I guess. But when you have any issues, Max Speeding Rods is apparently is pretty bad. So this is what I'm facing right now. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, if you guys ever decide on back buying from Max Speeding Rods or anything, I hope this kind of keep this in your, I mean, I hope this helps and keep this in the back of your head that, you know, you might have to deal with something similar. Be because you're probably going to be dealing with Max Being Rods directly instead of me dealing with, with the Performer Shop and them dealing with Max Being Rods. But that's basically it. Maybe you guys, if you have any similar kind of um, issues with distributors or manufacturers, maybe leave a story down in the comments below and let me know. But that's it, guys. That's basically my update. Um, if you guys haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.